Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my cancers, and this is going to be a message for whenever it reaches you. I will be using my Radiant Rider Weight Tarot deck, and yes, I've had this deck for many, many years. And then I'll pull you a card from the messages, messages from the guides, transformation deck. So, cancer, let's see what message or messages we have for you. To everyone stopping by, darlings, I welcome you with open arms and an open heart. Please know I give you these messages from my heart to your heart always. Please take what resonates and leave what does not, okay? So, Cancer, this is for you. The Nine of Pentacles. Ooh, started seeing the rewards of your hard work. The Six of Cups. Memories of the past. Or did someone come back in from the past? Whatever it was, it happened very fast. That's the Six of Cups, and this is the Eight of Wands. Then we have the Page of Pentacles. You had good news about financial matters not too long ago. However, there is some kind of deceit or something deceitful going on in your environment. Somebody might be betraying you or you might be thinking about it. You might have a feeling within you that there is some kind of betrayal or something you need to be cautious about in your environment. We got the tower, something you do need to be cautious about because it's going to bring in some chaos and confusion here. It's going to be sudden. You got the Queen of Pentacles here. It might have to do with the Earth's energy, a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. Whatever it is, you're extremely capable to handle this situation. Okay, Cancer? You got the King of Cups. That's you, Cancer, all day long. Emotionally balanced, right? No matter what's going on, you're not going to fly off the handle. Okay? You're going to take a breath. You're going to... Take a breath. You know that these moments will pass. It doesn't last forever, okay? But it might have something to do with the earth energy. Ooh, this is not a healthy situation for you. Listen to me. This is not a healthy situation. You're already aware of it. You already know. This situation is something from the past here. You got the devil here. This is something very unhealthy. This could be about addictions. Maybe this energy, I don't know, has some kind of problem. What it is, I'm not sure. It, it's overindulgent. The devil is about overindulgence. The human and their excesses, okay? It's about, it could be alcoholism. It could be drugs. It could be overeating. It could be overdoing, you know, that thing. Now I got the Ace of Wands. It might be overdoing that thing. No judgment. No judgment. But you are aware. Whatever is unhealthy here, you are aware of it. Now, I'm going to look at it a different way, okay? So with the Ace of Wands coming up over the devil here, I'm going to say... That all this that you're going through, you're going to have an opportunity to start over, okay? For a brand new creative. It's going to be creative. You're going to create this new beginning for you, all right? So you're going to overcome whatever is happening here, whatever is bringing in this chaos and confusion, whatever this addictive behavior is. I don't know if it's self or if it's that energy, all right? Only you know. So we got the Ace of Wands. You're going to overcome these things, okay? It's going to give you some anxiety. But at the end of the day, you're going to have reason to celebrate. And you're going to accomplish things successfully. 
things will come full circle for you. Now, I know when we're going through things, we never ever see the bright side coming. You know what I mean? I mean, when we're going through it, we're going through it, you know, and we wallow in it. I give you permission to let it go so you can pick yourself up and you can be who you, your authentic self. You can start going within and opening your heart and loving you, forgiving yourself, okay? Forgiving others. Love you. Remember cancer, you are the nurturer, you know. But not because of that, that means you gotta pour out and pour out and pour out. There's a little bit you gotta give in and this is for everybody. A lot of people. Give, 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 give. I used to be one of them. You gotta pay attention. We got them takers, they ain't got no limit. And I'm not saying not to have a good heart, you know, and not to help someone. But you gotta know when it's helping someone or being taken advantage of. But you're gonna accomplish, you're gonna overcome things, okay? So let's see here what the transformation deck has. Kindness counts. Kindness counts. I have to say the alphabet. Experiencing life on earth can become overwhelming. Often there are not enough hours in the day to accomplish everything you'd like. The one thing that doesn't take up any extra time and that you can do every moment of every day is to be kind. The manifestation of loving light given from one soul to another in this physical dimension is known as kindness. It is an acknowledgement and recognition of another person who deserves the same love you have given yourself. But you gotta give yourself the love first, right? In order to love another, we have to love ourselves. I asked someone the other day, do you love yourself? And they said, yes. I said, please tell me how. And they said, well, I do this for that person, and I do that for that person. I give to this person, and I always, that's not love. What have you done for you? I haven't heard one thing there that said what you do or how much you love you. So anyway, when you share this energy with another, it may be the most important element that their soul needs at that particular time in their journey. They may be in a place of insecurity and this gift that you bestow may center them enough to make the correct choice for themselves. When you are kind to someone or someone is kind to you, it is felt in the heart chakra as a physical manifestation. It warms my heart is often said when an act or even a story of kindness resonates within you. This is the energy of your soul and anything that brings forth that energy should be nurtured. Make a concerted daily effort to be aware of the energy that you are sending out. Kindness is contagious. I love you, darlings. You're going to overcome whatever it is that you're going through. You already know that. I love you.